It has been a week of highs and lows, ups and downs, but hey, the weekend is just around the corner. So keep your tune up because I'm here to help you start it off right with all the entertainment news from across the world. My name is Bjorn and you're watching the only show that does it best, Accelerate News. Bill Cosby emerged from hiding this week. The actor hasn't spoken publicly in two years since all allegations about him being a rampant sexual offender were at their peak. But he recently gave an interview to discuss his pending case. Now, as expected, Cosby didn't give away much and refused to admit if allegations were true or not. He did manage to claim that he thought racism might be a factor in his case, despite his accusers being both black and white. He also took the time to thank his few remaining fans for believing in him as to whether he is guilty or not, only time will tell. This one has got me laughing all week. A new fashion craze is sweeping social media and for once, this one isn't for the ladies. Now someone launched a Kickstarter campaign for the Rumfim, which is essentially a play suit or romper for men. While girls have been obsessed with play suits for centuries now, the idea of men wearing them has left Twitter users with mixed feelings. <laughs> Most guys agree that they look super comfortable, but they aren't sure that they're masculine enough. Well, there goes hypermasculinity again. <laughs> and the ladies aren't even sure about the idea of going out in matching play suits with the boo. Now, what do you think? Be sure to let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section of our post below. Amber Rose is known for being something of a savage and not caring what anybody has to think about her. So when we saw her Twitter post on Thursday morning, no one was too surprised. The mother of one tweeted at her best friend Black China's ex Boo Tiger saying, Dear Tiger, since you left Black China, your music has been trash. I mean, it's always been trash, just more than usual. Ouch. As usual now, Amber Rose has come out and said, it's a lie. She was actually hacked and she didn't actually say that. Now the best part of the public's response was that basically while Amber was being hashed, she wasn't exactly lying. <laughs> Double ouch. Tiger is yet to respond. In music this week, Whiskid swept up a number of nominations for the 2017 Billboard Music Awards happening this weekend. Drake's song, which he featured on with Kayla, One Dance, is nominated for seven awards, including Top Selling Song, Top Radio Song, and Top R&B Song. Not to be left behind, David O is getting into the dance hall craze. Now, the singer revealed that he is collaborating with Jamaican sensation Popcan, and based on the teaser he gave us, it's going to be quite a banger. <laughs> While we wait for the full thing, Fino has released the video for his fantastic tune Link Up featuring Burna Boy and M.I. Talk about a hit collaboration. <laughs> Considering the amount of talent packed into that song, you just know the video is going to be killer. <laughs> Check out all these songs and more on our website. In more music news, the 2017 BET Awards is set to take place on Sunday, June 25th at the Microsoft Theatre in Los Angeles. Angeles. The nominees for the Best International Act 2017 includes Whiskid Techno, David O, Mr. Easy aka Stoneboy, Nasty C, and Babes Wodumo. Let's know who you are rooting for in the comment section of our post below. Now, if you ask me, I just want the trophy to land in. Nigeria. And that's it for today on Accelerate News. Be sure to head on over to our website at AccelerateTV.com for more news on entertainment, fashion, music and so much more. Now Accelerate is bringing the heat with a brand new show so you might just want to stay tuned next week for something really awesome. And make sure you catch up with the latest episode of Kemi Adetiba's King Women and so much more. I'd see you on Monday everybody. High five.